This morning when I went to film, the weather was nasty. I couldn't do what I originally planned, but I did have an idea that's been in the back of my head for a while. So after a quick trip to Harbor Freight, I picked up one of these one and a quarter pound axes that seem to be very popular right now. And I thought, I'm gonna turn this into something special. And then I thought, if I'm gonna turn this cheap ax into something special, why not do it using cheap tools? So all of the tools I'm gonna be using in this video were purchased at Harbor Freight. I was partially inspired to use this ax in particular because Cody from Wrangler Star has been doing a couple videos on these and he made some minor improvements to them. But you know, to be honest, I don't really like the way it looks and I don't really like the way it feels in my hand. So let's get started. See if we can make this a little more aggressive looking. I'm going to use these fancy vice grip protectors to get started here. that off with a file. I'm even going to use, oh yeah, that's hot. <laughs> I'm even going to use the uh, files that I picked up at Harbor Freight. this technique on another channel so I'm gonna give it a shot because oh yeah did I mention I've never done any of this before so what's the worst that could happen so that's working all right but it's taking a long time let's try the uh, El Chipo sander and see what happens That is looking lovely. More to be done though. Before I go any further on the edge, let's see what we can do to kind of, uh, how do you say unique this thing up? Let's go. I'm gonna cheat here a little bit and use a Dremel, but I did buy the bit at Harbor Freight. Okay, so they don't sell Milwaukee at Harbor Freight, but they do sell these little three inch sanding pads that are, you can either put them in a angle grinder or your drill. I always just use them in the drill and they work great. Hmm. 
not perfect. I have to cover my face where the camera will focus on my face. Not perfect, but not bad. Let's address this handle because this handle is terrible. I'll be honest with you. I have pretty big hands and this thing is just not very comfortable. I mean, two-handed, I guess it's decent, but honestly, probably most of the time you're gonna be using this one-handed. It just doesn't feel good. So I wanna address that. For Father's Day, Kim and the girls got me this Holtzbrook hatchet and uh, I like a lot. It is very lovely, very lovely. And of course, this is a lot smaller than this ax from Harbor Freight. This thing is made so nice, so beautiful. And the handle is, I mean, obviously it's, you know, it's not the same deal, but shorter. But if you just look at the thickness of it, I don't know if you can tell, and just the way it's made, even though my hands are bigger and this is pretty thin, man, it just fits in the hand so nice. I'm gonna use this as inspiration for the handle on the Harbor Freight Axe. I'm gonna start out using this flat sanding disc on the angle grinder and see how well this works. <laughs> yeah, I can tell you that works pretty well. Time to get weird. And now, we are ready for the boiled linseed oil. In case you don't know it, boiled linseed oil is generally the preferred finish for like really nice axes and hatchets. And try not to spill it like I did. I want to make sure I get it in that hole there. If you've never used boiled linseed oil before, don't let, you know, using a new finish scare you. It doesn't get any easier than boiled linseed oil. You just put it on, let it set for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then once it is set, and the wood is absorbed, all it's gonna absorb, just go back and wipe the rest off, and man, it puts a nice finish on there. I just picked up some of these leather shoelaces, and I soaked them in some leather conditioning oil. 
I'm going to dry that off. something like this and you need to <laughs> change the change the camera angle I don't know uh, move around a little bit or whatever or take a break it's good to have one of these clips around so that you can hold it in place and not lose all that work put a little more braid on here just in case I needed some more but I don't want this to be too big. That is lovely, lovely. Now, as we all know, an ax, it ain't no good unless it'll cut paper, right? It will cut. Guys, I think I've proven it to be true. You really can polish a turd. Now this ax is ready to split wood or split, well, whatever you want to split. I boogered up the knot a little bit on the braid. And the reason I braided that was because I felt like the one shoe string by itself uh, was just too thin. Since it's my first time, I'm sure there's a lot of ideas out there that I could have done better. And if you know of some of them, put them in the comments. And if you wanna see me do something like this again in the future, let me know and I'll see you next time.